The daughters of a farmer accused of murdering their mother in a staged car crash on their West Australian property more than a decade ago have described their parents' relationship as very happy and loving. Felicity Johnston and Elise Devine gave evidence at the Supreme Court trial of their father, Gregory Paul Johnston, who, in December 2008, is alleged to have deliberately driven into a tree before setting fire to the car, while his 56-year-old wife, Susie Johnston, was still alive inside. Prosecutors have alleged Mr. Johnston murdered his wife because he was having an affair with another woman but had not wanted to separate from his wife for fear of having to sell the family farm in Borden. The court has heard that over the 10 years Mr. Johnston had given varying accounts of the crash, with his explanations ranging from an accident to a crash blamed on distraction to an alleged suicide attempt. In her evidence, 29-year-old Felicity Johnston said immediately after the crash her father told her he blacked out, but in 2012 or 2013 he said he had been distracted. She testified that in 2017, when police were conducting a new investigation, her father told her a third version, that her mother had grabbed the steering wheel and driven into the tree. Ms. Johnston said she was not surprised her father had not told her that version before, testifying that he was essentially trying to protect his children because he did not want them to remember their mother that way. Ms. Johnston also testified that about the same time, her father disclosed that he had affairs during the marriage, saying at the time he was upset and emotional and appeared to be regretful. The court has heard that one of those affairs was with a woman, Jenny Yu, who Mr. Johnston met on the internet and married nine months after his wife's death. Ms. Johnson said she first met Ms. Yu on the family farm in about 2010, but she did not find out that the couple were married until 2017. I understood they were in a relationship. I didn't question it any further because it wasn't any of my business," she said. It's certainly something I'm not going to pressure him about, it's his relationship. Ms. Johnston was questioned about a letter, in Susie Johnston's handwriting, seized by police from the Borden property in 2017. It was addressed to those who I love and adore and included lines such as, when I am gone, release me and let me go, it's time I traveled alone, and, although you can't see or touch me I'll be near. Ms. Johnston testified that given the circumstances she considered it to be a suicide note, saying her mother, who liked to express herself and to be prepared, was not afraid of death. She described her parents' relationship as very happy and loving, telling the court that immediately after the crash her father appeared broken. Another daughter. Elise Devine also testified that in 2008 she considered her parents still had a loving relationship and that they got on particularly well.
she said when she spoke to her mother about a week before her death, she appeared to be down because she was worried about the crop and that it was not going to be a good year financially. Ms. Devine described her mother as having quite unconventional views about death, testifying that she saw it as just another part of life. She described her father as a very gentle and kind person, saying she believed he had not initially told her that her mother grabbed the steering wheel to protect her and her two siblings.